All right, hello and welcome to this video. Uh, we're talking about the village of Mineola and the response that I finally did wind up getting from the mayor regarding um, the various issues that, uh, especially with the street lighting, uh, that I want to share with you. So I'm glad that the village did finally respond to me. So uh, I will read you this art, this uh, the letter that was sent back to me. Uh, it says, "Thank you for bringing the lighting at issues." To this is from the mayor. All right. Um, uh, so I did get a response directly from the mayor. Uh, uh, so thank you for bringing the lighting issues to my attention. I have already asked our contractor to check the lights that are out in our downtown. Hopefully they will be repaired in a few days. I will also have someone check on the other streets uh, that you mentioned uh, between uh, the Boulevard and Willis Avenue as well as the lights in Field 1. The light on Mineola Boulevard that is leaning is not in danger of falling but will be repaired as soon as the pole gets delivered to us from Canada. I will speak with the contractors of 3TC for the third track project regarding your thoughts on the lack of lighting and weeds in the walkways of the train station. Uh, I will men mention the vagrancy issue to the police, but as you know, it isn't a crime to be homeless, and the state has decriminalized the laws that were used in situations similar to this. From the mayor of Mineola, Scott Strauss. So uh, I'm glad he did get back to me, and he did write a letter, and, um, but he needs to be more vocal, uh, because somehow Lindbrook gets what they want, uh, they have a beautiful train station. Uh, they even have blue lights now at Lindbrook. Uh, yeah, they get blue lights. Uh, they, they're, they're, you know, taken care of, but it seems like we are not. Um, and, uh, again, it's all, uh, we know why. It's because a certain demographic lives in Lindbrook, and a certain demographic doesn't live in Mineola, and that's why, uh, or at least Mineola, may, we may have some people of a certain demographic. We're all kinds of people here. So, um, but I'm glad the village did respond. Um, and, uh, yeah, the decriminalization of the laws. And you know who to blame for that? That's our governor, Andrew Cuomo, who decriminalized the laws that the, that the police could have used to get these people off the streets. And it is people like us here in the middle that are suffering with the vagrancy while, um, while uh, the, uh, you know, the South Shore towns don't have to deal with it, uh, obviously, for the most part. Uh, occasionally they have to deal with it, but not like what we have to deal with, which is chronic. I mean, occasionally you'll see somebody in Belmont like that day that we saw that. But guess what? I haven't seen him since, you know, because guess what? It was probably taken care of because the police will tell them to move along there because that's where a certain demographic lives, you know. Um, but in the middle of the island, it's not, it's not, it's not as important, obviously. Um, and it is very interesting to know with the blue lights that uh, they're on every single station along the Babylon line. But I don't see them in Baldwin. I don't think Baldwin has them. I don't think Freeport has them. And on the main line, there's only one station that has them, uh, and that was Farmingdale that got them. Uh, because, guess what, a certain demographic lives in Farmingdale. So it's just very interesting that, uh, you know, it's just all about a certain demographic. Uh, but anyway, I figured I'd share the response with you uh, from the village and uh, on the street lighting. Um, and uh, we, we all deserve to be treated fairly and equally. So before I wrap up this video, uh, I want to show you another street uh, that's in between Mineola Boulevard and Willis Avenue that has very poor street lighting. Uh, and these are, you know, it's not like these are how, uh, sparsely populated streets. There are a lot of two-family homes in them. It's densely populated, and you can barely see where you're walking. So let's take a look. All right, another example of the ridiculously dark streets we have here in Mineola. This is another street in Mineola, where it's very dark. And there's barely any street lights. And it's a very congested area. There are a lot of houses here. It's not like it's a, 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 a suburban street, you know, where the houses are spread out. Everything's pretty close together here. And uh, there's barely any street lighting. The best street lighting you're getting is from these houses here. That's it. Pathetic. So I just figured I'd show you once again how bad the street lighting is here in Mineola. Something really needs to be done about it. I'm going to keep talking about it until it's fixed. We need new street lights.